loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, so guys, we're just going to do a super quick, quick, quick intro. Um, if you guys are interested in crystals to help clear the chakras, anxiety, depression, you could visit Kim K Crystals. Um, the link for her website is below, and she also does Facebook Lives a couple times a week, which are really awesome. All that info is below. Recommended readers are also below. Um, we're going to be starting the uh, giveaways again, okay? So um, I had to stop that for a couple months, but we're going to be starting up again. So the winners will be announced at the beginning of the month, okay? So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, in the description box below, you're going to see a list of everything that I give away every month. And all you have to do is go to the comment section and hashtag what you would like to win, okay? Um, and winners will be announced uh, at the beginning of every month. Um what else do I want to tell you guys? Um, for uh, live readings with me or video readings with me, so I will be going on live and doing uh, live question readings um, at least a few times a week, uh, or you can book a reading with me through my website, which is listed below, okay? Um, and last but not least, guys, when leaving a comment, um, if you have something negative that you would like to say about the reading, you are more than welcome to drop a comment. Um, just please be aware that as a reader, it doesn't really affect me because, you know, I clear my energy and ground all day long. Um, but there are plenty of people that this reading will resonate with, so please try to not disregard or disrespect the people that are hurting um you know we are a family here and we try to be kind to one another so if the reading doesn't resonate with you um you know try to be understanding for the people that it does resonate with uh last but not well i already said last but not least <laughs> um Guys, these uh, readings could be energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through, something your person's going through, um, or it could be, you know, something that a close friend or family member is going through. Um, this could also be, uh, you know, it is intended to be love, but this could also be for a friend or family member, okay? It could be, you know, anybody that you care about, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with your reading, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, my beautiful loves, let's go ahead and see what we have here for my Cancer Babies. Um, guys, if you'd like to follow me on TikTok, the link is below. Um, we're going to start with some channeled messages, do a couple of oracle cards, and then get into the reading, okay? So, Cancer, I feel like there is a connection in your life, whether it's a friendship, a family member, a love interest. Um, your intuition is telling you something's off. Like your intuition is telling you that there's something that's not quite right about the connection, that maybe there's something that you're not seeing or that maybe perhaps you feel like something is going on behind your back or people are talking behind your back. Um, with the Five of Pentacles energy that I was feeling, um, it's like a, a fear that this is going to come apart or that this this person is going to leave you or maybe you should leave this uh, connection. It's a, I, I saw the Five of Pentacles very strongly when I was um, channeling your messages. Um, so I don't know if you're thinking about leaving a, a connection, if you're scared that someone's going to leave you. you. You feel like something's not quite right here. And I feel like you're wanting to, you know, just end it and walk away. Um, but you're waiting. Someone here is waiting. Either, either your person wants to walk away, but they're just waiting to see if it's going to work. Or you're wanting to walk away, um, but you're waiting to see if it's going to work. Very str strong Five of Pentacles energy uh, when I was channeling. So... There's either a fear that someone's going to walk away or someone wants to walk away and leave something behind. But there's a sense of waiting. Um, and I do feel that there is possible communication happening or someone feels that there's communication happening behind the other person's back. Um, like, I want to go, but I'm going to wait to see if it works out. Do you see what I'm saying? So let's see what we have here for the Oracle. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. 
So we've got, you're very close to achieving your goal. You're very close to achieving your goal. So Cancer, someone here is waiting for an answer or trying to figure out possibly if they should stay or if they should go in a connection. Um, and I feel like this is the goal that's that's waiting to be achieved here. Like, am I going to settle down and get comfortable into this or am I going to walk away? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. Yeah, see, we've got deceit here, and we've got door to personal healing and happiness. So, Cancer, it may appear that everything is, you know, happy and good to go, but there is something deceitful happening around you, okay? Um, either somebody has intention on leaving, but they're just hanging around to wait for something, Um yeah, there's definitely something not right with a situation here. But it would appear that there's happiness, joy, healing. It would appear like everything's good, but your intuition is telling you that something's not quite right. Okay? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. So we've got conflict and courage uh, with happy success under the deck. So Cancer, I feel that um, things are gonna get pretty rough here and it may require for you to have courage, it may require for you to stand up for yourself. Um, something may happen here that may require, you know, for you to be strong, okay? Um, maybe questioning something or stepping up to the plate and, you know, gaining that courage to see the situation for what it is. With happy success here, Cancer, I feel that, you know, um, it's gonna end well for you, whatever's happening here. So let's see what we have. Or maybe with happy success, you're going to find out what is happening behind your back. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers. We've got heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. We've got heartbroken, deeply sad, I'm sorry, sorry, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. And then clock. Need time takes time in time cycles, time to heal and progress. Cancer, I feel like there's a situation here where you're opening your heart, you're trying to make something work, but you're going to end up getting hurt, Cancer. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, and I feel like not only is it going to hurt, but it's going to take a tremendous amount of time to heal. And I feel like you know that something is in the works or that something is in the making behind your back. Okay? Let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance. Okay. So we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. We've got unrequited love in the reverse. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, and this is in the reverse. Cancer, I feel like you're not wanting to see the truth of a connection, that there's no love in a connection. With religious factors, we've got your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Um, maybe you were brought together with this person for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's a soulmate. Maybe it's a twin flame. Maybe there's something here that you needed to learn. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like there is real love in the connection. I, I feel like something is definitely brewing under the surface of the connection. All right. So let's see what we have here. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful cancers, please. Tell me about cancer. What does cancer need to know today, please? Okay. 
So we've got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. We've got the Nine of Swords in the reverse. We've got the Sun card in the reverse. And we've got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse with the Five of Swords under the deck. <sighs> Boy, Cancer. I feel like you're about to be blindsided by something here or someone here is about to be blindsided. With the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like there's someone here that is potentially... Um, uh, saying that they want to work as a team, saying that they want to, you know, lay a solid foundation with you here. Um, and I feel like that's all to make you not worry with the Nine of Swords in the reverse. This person doesn't want you to worry. They don't want you to catch on to what's happening. Um, but with the Sun card in the reverse and the Ace of Cups in the reverse, this person doesn't want you to see that there is no real love here. Or, you know, especially if you're trying to bring this back together to reconcile it, this person doesn't have that in their heart. They weren't really looking to do this. With the Five of Swords and the Two of Cups here... Um, the strength card and the devil card here. I feel cancer that this person wants to, um, someone here wants to leave. Okay. There may be another person or another relationship here that this person would rather be in or be around. Um, I feel like with the devil card and the strength card, someone here is getting frustrated because they're being held back from that connection. So they want to walk away. Like someone here may try to sabotage a connection to walk away. With the moon card here and the knight of wands, you know, they're keeping it a secret that they want to go pursue something else, but they're going to start to maybe pick fights in the connection or start problems or, you know, act in a way that causes fights okay so what's going to happen is you know this person's going to start throwing grenades in the connection to cause problems so that you know what i'm saying it can separate so they can go pursue whatever it is they want to pursue um cancer with the eight of swords here the four of cups and the ten of cups there's a feeling here that something isn't right um with the four of cups and the ten of cups someone here is offering all the love that they have they're offering a long-term future they're offering everything they could possibly offer but with that eight of swords energy someone here feels like something's off like something's happening behind their back um so let's see what we have here Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for Cancer? Tell me about the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. We've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, Cancer, I feel that someone here is coming off as very stable, very solid, very committed. But with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, there is not a doubt in this person's mind that with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, this connection is not going to work or that they don't want it to work, okay? Um, yeah, see, I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Six of Wands, this person either is started a new relationship with you or you guys reconciled and I feel like they want to give the impression that this is going to be victorious that it's going to be amazing that marriage is going to come or engagement is going to come or very uh, high levels of commitment are going to come but the king of swords and the three of swords cancer this person has plans to totally destroy your heart this person has plans to either go towards a third party or they, they're planning on hurting you cancer this person, yeah, Five of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Um, this person uh, has either met someone new, started talking to someone new, um, or they're just wanting to go towards new love and something different. The Five of Swords, they are going to sabotage the connection to move towards something new here. Um, I feel like with the Strength card, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Chariot here, I feel like this person is simply holding back so that they leave at the right time. They're waiting to leave at the right time that's best for them with that Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so let's see here. Tell me about the Sun card in the reverse, please, for Cancer. We've got the Strength card in the reverse. Tell me about the nine of swords in the reverse 
and the three of wands. Yeah, this person wants you to not worry, Cancer. They want you to uh, envision a future or think that there's going to be a future. With the strength card in the reverse and the sun card in the reverse, um, I feel here that, you know, this person is um, trying to keep your guard down so you don't see the truth of the matter. Like, they, they're trying to make it where everything is just very smooth, very, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't want you to notice those red flags. You see what I'm saying, Cancer? They don't want you to see that they're not truly in love or that they have some type of plan. They don't want you to see the truth. So they're making it where everything is very calm so you're vulnerable. You don't have your guard up, okay? Tell me about the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, see, this person just doesn't want you to worry, Cancer, but at the same time... Um, yeah, at the same time, this person, you know, they're, they're not in love. They don't have any love or passion for this connection. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Cancer, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Two of Wands, we have the Strength card, and we have the Seven of Cups, the Emperor under the deck, and the Five of Swords. So Cancer, the person on this side is working hard, doing what they need to do, Two of Wands, someone here is envisioning a future, you know, uh, trying to work towards that goal. With the Strength card and the Seven of Cups, someone here thinks that they are in a solid connection, but it's an illusion with the Seven of Cups, okay? It's an illusion. This Emperor with the Five of Swords has plans on leaving. Now, Cancer, the Emperor is generally well off financially, in control, so someone here may be waiting to attain uh, maybe money or finance or material possessions of some sort someone here may be waiting so that when they leave they are in emperor status okay so that may be another possibility too someone here may just be you know accumulating material gains or accumulating uh, money you know what I'm saying um, so that when they leave they leave in a very comfortable position Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles for Cancer, please. <sighs> Page of Swords in the reverse. Someone here is literally working on a lie. Yeah, see, Ten of Swords. They're working on something that's going to end or be taken from them anyway. All right. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Yeah, see, Seven of Cups and the Unknown card. This person has no idea. They're just walking around blind, walking around, working on stuff, thinking that there's going to be a future here, but it's based on nothingness because someone here, is uh, their intention is to go. Tell me about the Two of Wands. We've got the Ten of Wands in the reverse and the Nine of Wands. Um, I feel like someone here is envisioning a future that's just not going to happen. You see what I'm saying? Um, there's going to be blind blockages there's going to be uh you know someone here is going to be blocked from just give up on it spirit is saying to just basically give up on it with the tower and the fool card and the four of swords if you take this risk and continue you know the fool card can be a representation of being warned that where you're going can be dangerous okay taking that leap of faith can cause you harm and this is your warning cancer you're you're putting work into something that is going to fall and with that four of swords energy it is going to hurt okay um, with the knight of cups and the hermit here someone is coming towards you cancer with a lot of love a lot of romance offers of commitment and then with the hermit they are going to withdraw okay tell me about the strength card here for cancer the strength card for cancer we've got the two of cups and we've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. With that Strength card, Cancer, Leo energy, you think this is a strong soul tie. You think this is a strong commitment. You think this is steady. It's stable. It's leading to higher levels of commitment. There you are, Cancer. You're thinking that, you know, you're going to be, you know, moving up to Empress level with this person, getting married, having kids. But with the Death card and the Two of Swords, Cancer, this person is going to switch up on you hard. Scorpionic energy. They are going to 
switch up on you hard. Tell me about the Seven of Cups here for Cancer. The Seven of Cups for Cancer. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant Taurus energy. This proposal of marriage or this promise for a future, um, whatever this is that they're promising you, this promise of stability, it's a lie, Cancer. It's a lie. The Justice card, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Um, Cancer, this person wants to do right by a third party. This person is going towards a third party energy. Um, I don't know who this third party is, but this is who they want to do right by. So they are just accumulating whatever they need to accumulate with you just to dip on you and go be with the third party. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages, please. Tell me about the challenge here for Cancer. Tell me about the challenge for Cancer, please. The challenge for Cancer, please. Oh, boy. Yeah, Cancer, the challenge here is that, you know, with the Two of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, everything seems so amazing right now. Like you have here, Heart with the Key, you're welcoming love. I mean, everything seems to be stable, committed, all lovey-dovey and all of this good stuff here. But with the Four of Cups, Cancer, there is going, you're going to be left, uh, you know, alone here. They're, they're going to, you're going to, you, you think that you're, the challenge here is that you think you have found someone that you're going to spend the rest of your life with and you're going to end up alone here. With the Eight of Swords and the Moon card, your intuition is telling you something's not right. Your intuition is telling you that something is happening behind the scenes. Your intuition is telling you that people are talking about you or that there's just something that you're not seeing. There's something here that you're missing, okay? Tell me about the outcome here for Cancer. Tell me about the outcome here for Cancer. Yeah, see, Emperor in the reverse, Aries, Taurus energy, the Hierophant in the reverse, Taurus energy, and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy with the Devil under the deck, and the Four of Pentacles here, the Lover's card, and the Six of Wands. Um, Cancer, I feel that you're, the, the, the outcome here is that with the Emperor in the reverse and the Hierophant in the reverse and the Queen of Swords, don't trust this person. They are not stable. This is not someone that's out to be with you. They're not out to marry you. They're not out to love you. They're not out to spend their life with you. Um, with the devil card here, uh, this is someone that may suffer from mental illness or drug addiction, or they're just straight up lying, Cancer. Four of Pentacles, this person is accumulating right now. They're, they're you know, Four of Pentacles is a miser energy. It's, it's someone that's saving every penny, okay? So this is somebody that's trying to accumulate, okay? And then with the Six of Wands, and the lover's card, they're going to be able to go off to the new person with money in their pocket or whatever the case may be. Okay. Um, so there's definitely a, a warning here, Cancer. Okay. Let's take this into the extended. Let's see. Um, let's, let's dig a little bit more into this emperor energy. Uh, let's see uh, if we can get a time frame or what you should do here. You know what I'm saying? Let's just see what the outcome here is. If there's any hope or chance for this, or let's just, I, I just feel like there's more to this story and we need to dig a little bit deeper. Okay. All right, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you in the extended. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. Bye loves.